looking back at that night now, of course, there was a side of me that was like, whoa, I didn't really expect to win this. You know, there was a small side of me. But another side of me felt like, yeah, of course, I've worked hard for it. And if that's what the people want, then that's what it should be. But the truth of the matter is, you know, there was a lot of politics going on mm -hmm. around that time. You know, they didn't um, include Shatawale, who had done so much during that year, okay. and who was, if had been nominated, would by all means have taken the award of the year. So I won by default. You know, it's like, okay, if Shata is not here, who's, who's the next? And there was Sack in the building, Stoneboy was in the building, all those people. And then I happened to take it that night. But, I mean, if we're all going to be honest, if there wasn't any politics between Chatter House, if there wasn't any drama between Chatterwali and Chatter House, I'm sure Chatter would have taken it for the night. But, you know, like I always say, man, it's going to be what it's going to be. Everything happens for a reason. And so that's what happened. I won our Teaster of the Year. And I was pretty happy about it. I'm still pretty happy about it. But to tell the truth, that's what the facts are on the table.